Today is the day that Cityscape Global 2018 opens its doors, now a stable event in the region's calendar. The annual event is the largest and most influential real estate investment and development event for emerging markets globally. But what can we expect from this year's event and what issues do you think will dominate conversation? I'm Jack Ball, Senior Reporter at Construction Week and joining me is Neha Bhatia, Editor at Construction Week. So, Neha, tell me a little bit more about the event and kind of its history and why it's so important for the construction industry in the region more kind of generally. So like you pointed out, Cityscape has been um, a fixture in all our calendars for many, many years now. And part of the reason behind that is that you have major developers, um, as you will this year, such as Damak, Nakheel, Azizi, Bengati, all making appearances at the show, talking about their projects and what their plans are for the next 12 months. So for construction companies, for engineers, for contracting CEOs, it's interesting because it gives them the opportunity as well to understand what their clients intend to do in the next year. And obviously for end users, it's a really good way to plan their year out, maybe their um, rental or lease agreements have changed and so Cityscape comes at a pretty good time for end users and, and investors as well. No, absolutely. Um, and are there any uh, recent developments that have happened since last year's event that you think are really going to dominate conversation this year? What do you think? I think the visas really stand out. Um, the new visas that have been announced in the UAE, um, the expat retirement visa, the long-term visas as well, I think all of those will essentially come together and encourage more people to visit the exhibition to see if um, they actually can find something that fits their, their needs, their requirements. And obviously the expat retirement visa very clearly mentions that property ownership is one of the um, criteria that will have to be met. So I think from that perspective as well, we might see increased footfall at Cityscape Global this year. No, that's really interesting. I mean, the conversations that we've had at CW with people in the market have certainly, um, everyone's got an opinion on what that visa means for the market. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out at the event. Um, are there any kind of ongoing issues, though, um, in the market? Um, you know, going past last year's event that have kind of dominated conversation. What are those and what do you think those will be this year? I think there's a greater awareness now in the development community and we've talked about this before. Uh, developers understand now that whatever they build, be it a home or an office or a mixed use development has to be very targeted for end users. It has to meet their requirements of that space. Um, and I think we're going to see that becoming a greater sort of conversation point this year, I think, because Cityscape really is time for investors and developers to get some, you know, one-on-one -on -one meetings and get face-to-face. -face. So I think investors might actually ask those questions. And the good thing is developers appear to be prepared. They know whom they're building for and they understand what the end users want. So I think we'll see more of that this year in addition to new payment um, schemes and new models of actually paying for the property that an investor buys or rents. I think we'll see more of that as well because there is an understanding that costs are changing, that salaries in the region are changing. And so that might be another thing we see at the show this year. No, absolutely. It's obviously a crucial opportunity to have those conversations and really target that engagement between the developers and end users. So it's going to be really exciting to see and be there and kind of hear those. You've been watching Construction Week in Focus. We are pleased to be giving away a limited number of email vouchers worth 500 dirhams to spend at a range of fantastic places. To get your hands on one of these vouchers, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like a video, leave a comment and share it with all your friends. Winners will be contacted directly by Construction Week. Don't forget that we publish new episodes every Tuesday at 9am. Until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.